did the ROI on that, two, two to $3 million a year savings, and uh, I don't know, $50 million company, they're maybe spending 60 grand on us, I don't know, something like that. You know, it's huge. Um, companies won't necessarily, though, take the savings. If, if they, really what we're trying to do with most companies is help them find the waste and redeploy it to things that actually can accelerate their growth, right? So, so in that case, it becomes a, um, uh, a revenue return relative to the investment they make. In either case, it, it tends to be, you know, outsized uh, return, um, as, assuming that they take steps to uh, ameliorate the things that we identify, right? Yeah, that's interesting, too. I, I can see from like a value creation perspective that reinvestment actually mm -hmm. like really even multiplies an already high ROI gets redeployed and valuation considerations yeah, and the yeah, like. Exactly. And, and, and again, the problem, the challenge with that is the generally speaking in these size companies, sub hundred million. The only people that really think that way are the CEO and CFO, right? The, the, the revenue leaders aren't necessarily thinking about valuation multiples and multiple expansion because we're actually driving faster growth and stuff like that. They're, they're think, I mean, the head of sales is thinking, what do I got to do to get my number? Um, so, so they're less, e even though economically, the um, the valuation multiple thing is by far the most compelling ROI. The, the people we're usually selling to actually don't care about that. I mean, they, they say they care, but they that's not what they're uh, staying up at night thinking about, right? They're staying up at night thinking, I need to keep my job to keep my job. I need, I need to make my number. Yeah, KPI, KPI, KPI and you kind of lose yeah. sight of like what you ultimately you know, kind of make money on over your time at that company is, right. is the 